Okay then, let's get animating. So, first thing we want to do is just make sure everything's set up for animation. Um, if you've not set my up for animation before, um, there's a few things you need to check or need to know. First of all, this is your play, um, well, your timeline and your playhead. Um, this is how many frames you can see, so from frame 1 to frame 24. Um, and this is how many frames are in total, so 1 to 48. Um, we're going to be working between frame 1 and 21 for this because uh, it's going to be a 21 frame um, loop. So I just type 21 in there and then I can only see 21 frames. That means when I play it, it will just loop those frames over. We also need to go into the animation preferences, which is this little running chap down here. Give that a click. Make sure that you're on real time 24 frames per second. Um, if you're on play every frame, it's probably going to go miles too quick. Okay, and then click on save. Right, we need to get animating them. So first things first, we're just going to work on this IK handle first, um, which may or may not have weird effects on the the foot, but we we kind of want that, so don't worry about that too much. So frame one, then making sure your playhead is on frame one, you're going to have this selected, have your move tool on, and we're just going to move him into a bit of a crouching position, like that. This is getting ready to do his jump. Ignore the foot at the moment. We'll come back uh, and correct that later. We're just trying to get only these two joints into the right shape at the moment. So on frame one, once you've got that position set, you just press S, which sets a keyframe. All this goes red. You get a little red tick down here. That means well done, you've been successful. Okay, I'm now going to move on to frame six. I'm going to make a change every five frames just so that it makes what I'm doing kind of easy to follow. So move your player to frame six. Uh, and this now represents the um, the frame where he's on his way up. So we're going to move this effector so that he's almost fully stretched out. And we're going to lean him forward. So that's him straight. I'm going to lean him forward a touch as well to about there. So that's what frame 6 should be. So again, once you've got that done, you press S on your keyboard. And that's that keyframe set. Lovely. All right, now frame 11 is a bit of a weird one. Because although he's going to be at the height of his jump, we're going to crouch him again. And it'll become clear later why we're doing that, but it's basically so that as he jumps, if you imagine a human jumping um, and then lifting their knees up to their chest to get extra height, that's what this frame here represents. So we're just going to crouch him again, and kind of bring him back um, like that. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah, like that. So that should be frame 11. Press S on that one. Frame 16. Jeff's on his way back down. So he's going to be stretching out again. We're going to be leaning backwards, sort of like that. Okay, so he'll be on his way back down. If any of these don't look quite right, you can always come back and change them later. So we don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, so we're going to set a keyframe on that. Um, lovely. Right, to get a smooth loop, what we need to make sure is that frame 1 and frame 21 are identical. If we just tried to do that by moving it, you'd never get there. And when you try to loop it, it'd go... Um, all kinds of mental. I know this from experience. So we're just going to copy and paste frame 1 to make sure it's identical. So click on frame 1 and it's important you put your playhead on it first because that's how you're telling Maya what to copy. So click on frame 1 then right click and you just go to copy. Then left click on frame 21 to tell the playhead where to be. Right click again and then it's paste and then for some reason you've got to go through here to paste like that. And you'll see that it's taken that position. Right, now we can play that back. Fantastic. Obviously, at this stage, it looks nothing like a jump, but we are nowhere near finished. But this is stage one done. That's the sort of crouching ready. Um, I think what we'll do next, before we worry about what the foot's doing, is we'll set the height um, in the next video. So I will see you in the next video for that.